For this exercise, I'm going to have you build a website. Uh, your website is going to serve, your first website anyway, is going to serve as a digital binder for this course. Uh, I'm going to want you to attach um, uh, pretty much all of your work into here um, for several reasons, but uh, one, it's going to serve as a digital book for you to use and to refer to when studying, etc. So, uh, I realize some of you have already gotten a Weebly website. Uh, I'm going to ask you to create a new one, and in order to do so, you might actually have to set up a new account because uh, every new account allows you two free websites, and all you need is an email address. So you may need to use a different or a new email address, and so you sign up simply by filling this in and then it'll get you there. So for the sake of keeping this brief, I'm gonna probably play and pause a little bit. So you put in your full name, your email, and a password, and then you sign up. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back when I'm done those little steps. All right, so now once you've logged in, this is what you get now. So it's changed quite a bit over the years. So they want you to first of all pick a theme and they, they specify that you can change it later. Uh, if you're gonna pick a theme, pick one that doesn't take up a lot of room on the side. Some of them have a huge sidebar here on the left, and it, it ends up preventing you from creating uh, a website that has a lot of content in it. So uh, I'm not seeing any of those right now. Maybe they eliminated them because they were just awful. So pick one that doesn't have a big sidebar. And of course, you can go back and change later. I don't want you to waste too much time on this, but you can take some time and scroll through and pick one that you think you like. But to change them afterwards is ridiculously easy. So now that I've picked one, this is loading. And now they're asking you to pick a name. Now, pick something that makes sense, please, and something that isn't stupid. Uh, so use. So we're going to use a dot .weebly because it's free, right? If you pick one of these, you have to pay. And I don't want you pulling out your visa and paying for anything right now. So here, um, marketing binder, or mind you, two people can't have the same one. So I'm just gonna call mine junk, so that's gonna take up a good name. But of course, I don't want you to use junk. I want you to use something that makes some sense, because I'll be looking at this on a regular basis. Marketing stuff 11. There we go. So that's good. So I can take that and scroll down, it looks like, and then hit continue. So that's actually going to be the name of my website, marketingstuff.weebly.com. Can't believe that wasn't taken. Oh, there was an 11 in there. Right, right, right. All right, so now they want us to watch this video, but I really don't want to. I want to just build the site. If you want to watch what they're saying, that's fine. But I'm just going to start building here. All right. Now, before you start dragging elements, I would just do the build, do the pages first. All right. Set up your pages. So, of course, you're going to have a home page. And then your other pages, let's just go with chapter one and we'll go all the way to 10. So, you're going to go chapter one. And then. We'll add another page and chapter two. And it's asking if you'd like to, to drag the pages to the right to create sub pages. I don't really want to do that. Okay, and you'll keep going all the way to chapter 10, and then we'll do a save and edit, and that should bring us back to the beginning. So here, right across the top, you're going to have your chapters. And what I'd like you to do, it keeps giving me these crazy prompts, which I'm not crazy about, but they're just trying to make it easy for you. What I'd like you to do is personalize your front page, all right? Information about you. If you want to use a picture uh, of yourself, again, this is a professional marketing textbook that you're building here. So keep it professional. Keep it clean. 
You'll be getting marked on this on a regular basis and you'll be putting a lot of your work onto here. So get that started. That's one of your first assignments for this course.